welcome to this lecture on customizing the look and feel of your templates. Now, while iBooks Author does include a number of high quality professional templates like we've seen, you'll still likely want to modify these templates to suit your needs. Now, one option would be you could search the web for free templates, or there's lots of places online that you can purchase additional templates, but I think you'll see that customizing a template is actually pretty easy, and that's something that you should be able to handle on your own. So for, for this lecture, we're going to go back to the exercise um, project that we've been working on. So we're going to go back to our New York City book. And you'll recall that it actually uses the editorial built-in template. Now, just as a reminder, uh, a template contains uh, predefined layouts and it contains styles. Um, so the styles that are used throughout the book. So in order for us to customize a template, we need to work on layouts and we need to work on styles. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about layouts first. And in a previous lecture, we looked at how you can bring up the layouts pane. The way that you can do that is by going to the view pop-up and then selecting show layouts. Uh, that option is available to you under the view command menu as well. So you can just go to view. Uh, right now it says hide layouts because the layouts are, are there. But if I go back to view, I can choose show layouts. Another quick way of doing that is just simply by dragging the book pane down to reveal the layouts. And what you'll see on the left hand side now is all the different options that are available to me for the different types of content that I'm adding. So I have two options for chapters. I have you know, four options when I'm adding sections or five options when I'm adding sections. And then I have some page templates that are one column, two column, and then a simply a blank page. So these are the pre-built layouts that come with this particular template. Again, as you explore the different built-in templates, you'll see that they have different um, layouts and different options for chapters, sections, and pages. Now, what we might want to do with this book, I was sort of looking at this book and I decided that um, I actually don't like the preamble text at the um, beginning of each chapter. So I want to just remove that. So I'm going to just select this text. I'm going to cut this text and I'm going to just paste it back here. So it can be a little bit larger since it's the, uh, the first paragraph. Now what I want to do is actually change this graphic um, so that it uh, takes up the remaining uh, white space. And if I look at the other chapters, you can see they actually still have that uh, text box with the custom text. So I want to, to modify that for my entire book. Uh, the way that I'm going to do that is I'm actually going to modify this layout. Um, so I'll go ahead and select the layout. If you're thinking in uh, PowerPoint terms or keynote terms, you can think of these layouts as uh, master slides. And um, what I'm going to do is first thing is select this text and just delete it. And the next thing I want to do is I want to resize this, um, this, uh, gr this graphic. And if I take one of these selection handles and try to resize it, you'll see what happens here. You'll see that it actually resizes the whole image and that's maybe not what I want. So I'll just undo that and instead I'll select edit mask. So when I edit the mask, it's actually going to allow me to create um, or edit the window that allow, you know reveal, reveals part of this image. So now if I move the selection handles while I'm editing the mask, it lets me create a larger window that sits on top of um, that sits on top of my graphics. So just hit uh, enter and now it's created a new mask. Now while I've been making these changes, you'll notice that in the layouts uh, area in the layouts pane, I now have this red button that tells me to apply changes. So that tells me that I've made changes to the layout, this particular layout, but I actually haven't applied the changes to my book yet. If I And you'll notice down here, these thumbnails still look the same. As soon as I hit apply changes, those changes are now applied to all of the chapters. And you can see that the, the graphic on each chapter now looks larger. So that's a really quick way of customizing the, uh, the layouts that you have in your templates. Now, what I'd probably want to do is maybe keep the existing, the original layout. Um, so if I just sort of undo uh, a bunch and go back to 
uh, the way that things were before, what I probably want to do is duplicate this layout and then um, either you know modify this original layout or modify the duplicate. And the reason why I like to do that is I, I always like to be able to revert back to the original. Now the way that you duplicate a layout is you select the layout, uh, do a control click or a right click, and then there's an option for you to duplicate it. Okay, and um, now if we go through this process, and again I'm just going to edit the mask, you'll see what happens is I've done this here, but there's no button here that says apply changes. And that's because this particular layout is not being used at all. If I want to apply it, I can go to my, my book, and now when I click on this down arrow, I have three options instead of two, and I can select that option, right? So obviously not something that uh, you'll want to do if you have like 150 chapters. You probably just want to um, probably just want to update the existing layout so that you don't have to go through each chapter. Um, but again, part of this is also thinking about your book, you know, modifying the template. Um, as much as you can up front so that you don't have to make these changes afterwards. But the fact that it is using a template, you know, you have lots of flexibility for making changes. So, you know, when you're creating new layouts, I do think that the best way to do that is uh, by taking an existing layout that you have in your template, duplicating it, and then modifying it the way that, um, the way that suits your needs. Now the other thing that we might want to do here is maybe change the styles that are associated uh, with a chapter layout. So in my case, I'm going to select this chapter text. And what I want to do is maybe make it all caps. I could do one of two things. I could go into my format menu and I can say, um, you know, make the capitalization all caps. And I could apply the changes and it would go through and uh, apply those changes everywhere. Um, what I probably want to do instead is actually modify the style. So I'm going to undo that, that last thing that I just did, and I'm going to bring up the styles drawer. So I'll go to my view menu uh, and show styles drawer. When I have the chapter uh, text selected, under paragraph styles you can see that chapter is highlighted. If I go back to capitalization, make that change, you'll notice now that this little uh, down arrow which used to be black is now red. That means that the text that I've highlighted currently is different from the style that's been defined for that text. So when I click on that down arrow I have some options that I can choose. I can create a new paragraph style from the selection. I can redefine the style from selection or I can say revert to the defined style. So if I was to choose redefine style from selection it would actually update um, the style definition to be all caps. If I were to revert to define style, the text that I've selected would go back to, you know, being title case or whatever the uh, the capitalization was that was being used. Um, I can also do things like, uh, you know, select all the uses of the, a particular style. I can rename the style. I can delete the style. I can also apply a, a shortcut key to the style. So if I have, you know maybe not for chapters, but maybe for sections, you might be applying it over and over again. You can just have a hotkey, so rather than bringing up the styles drawer and applying the style, you can simply select text and apply the hotkey. Maybe we'll take a look at that later on. So in my case, I want to redefine the style from selection. When I do that, it redefines the style. Over here, I've got chapter. Down here, you can see it's automatically updated. I can apply the changes, and away we go. Okay. So that's a very quick look at modifying layouts and styles. And there's a lot more that you can do here. You do have the ability to add additional placeholder text and images and objects. Um, that's probably a bit more of an advanced topic. And uh, that might be something that uh, you know we could explore later on based on feedback that I get from the course. If people are interested in uh, building you know, really customized templates, we'll, uh, we'll spend some time doing that. But for now, I think this is enough information for you to open up a built-in template, change the color scheme, change some of the graphics and, the, and where things are positioned. If you want to change the font that's being used, so for example, 
we don't want this uh, this you know this for the body font. Uh, we can go ahead and change that. I don't want Palatina. Maybe I want something that is, uh, um, you know, a sans serif type of font. Maybe I want Optima. So I'll select Optima. I can go up to my Styles drawer. And I can say Redefine Style from Selection. And when I do that, all the body text now gets changed into the sans serif font Optima. Right. So very easy to take what's already there very professional looking, very polished, and then just applying your own touches. If you're you know, building something for your institution or for a corporation, maybe you want to take the, you know, the design elements um, and apply your color scheme to that. And that might be enough to, uh, to get you started. But certainly if you want more information on this topic, please leave some feedback uh, for me and I'll, I'll add it to the course. Okay, hope you enjoyed that session on customizing the look and feel of templates.